So do you want to test two sentences for equivalence on a truth table? Let's do it. Okay. Well, fortunately, I have two sentences right here. You do. So we're going to test these for equivalence. The way you test two sentences for equivalence, you draw your table and you put the sentences on top side by side. So I'm putting the first sentence there and I draw a line. And then I take the second sentence and put it over here. So essentially we have you know, a sentence here, a sentence here with a line between them. We're just going to compare their final columns. And the letters, of course, are A and B. So I write A and B there. And A and B are either both true or true false or false true or false false. And essentially what you do when you test two sentences for equivalence is you compare their final columns on a table. If their final columns exactly match in order, we say that the two sentences are equivalent. And that means that in any situation, in any possible circumstance, their truth values will match. If their final columns differ in any way, uh, then they're not equivalent. So that's the test. So you do want to run the table and okay. you know, we'll read off the results. We can do this pretty quick again. <clears throat> the A's are going to be all true, true, false, false. The B's are all going to be true, false, true, false. And I can now do the, say for instance, I can do the tildes next to the A's and the B's. They just do the opposite of the letter. So if it's true, tilde's false. If it's true, it's false. And on down the line. Same with over here. The ampersand is going to be focusing on the main operator to the left and the main operator or connector to the right. So the only way an ampersand is going to be true is if both sides are true. In all these other cases, the ampersand is going to be false. So that's going to be the main connective of that statement. Over here we look at the wedge first. That's true, that's true, that's true. The only way you make a wedge false is if both sides are false. Okay. To do this tilde, this tilde is going to be negating this whole disjunction. The wedge is the main connective of the disjunction, so I'm just looking down the wedge column here and just doing the opposite of it. Want a nice black circle on that guy? Okay. So we do a complete truth table. Look at the columns underneath the main connectives and see if they match. They match here, they're both false. They match here, they're false. They're both false here and they're both true here. They match completely on every single one of the four rows telling us that these two statements are logically equivalent. Whenever one's true, the other will be true. Whenever one's false, the other will be false. They're logically saying the same thing. There we go.